Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And before starting this video, I want to thank all of you guys for showing all the support on my channel. Okay, let's start this video. And in this video, I will be talking about my final year project that I uh, like uh, submitted uh, in the last semester. If you will say like in the last semester, like you have to show the final year project. So I'm going to talk about uh, more about that in this video. Before starting this video, I want to tell you guys that you could go to my portfolio website that is itsatisha.com and then go to projects and there you can click on experience, click on this show more and then you will be able to see all the details about my project that I'm going to tell you about this video. So if you want, you can just skip the video and you could go to my website. Or you could directly you know go to itsatisha.com slash experience to visit this page so my final year project was an ar application and this was a model application that i created for my final year project now i named it experience and uh, so through my project i was going to explain like how can we use ar in various fields like education marketing you know uh, marketing then uh, like visualizing or some or visualizing then even like e in e-commerce websites or uh, apps, how can we use this AI technology? Let's first start with the education. Now, how, like how can we like benefit AI, use AI technology to benefit in education, right? So now we already know that we right now, like uh, first of all, we were using books to like uh, explain, like students use books to like read and ex like understand the concepts. Now most of these students prefer watching videos on online to like understand the concepts much more better than the books. So AI technology could be the next big thing to use in classrooms to understand the concepts much more better and it, it will really benefit students. Uh, let me show you an example. Okay now. Okay so this is the app. This is the UI of the app. Okay. Now another thing. So this was an you know a concept model that I built. Another thing, like I'm going to uh, tell you how we could actually use this in education. Let's say, for example, a kid. Okay, so hold on. So actually, while while I was editing this video, I noticed that I did a very bad job in explaining the points. So I'm going to give the voiceover wherever I have done a very bad job in explaining the points. Uh, this is actually because this is the third time that I was actually recording this video. Uh, before this, I actually uh, messed up the recording in some way, so I have to redo the recording work again and again. So yeah, let's go back. I was explaining how we could use this in education. So let's consider. Uh, let's take an example. Let's say some students in the lower standard like let's say for first second class students uh, they are actually learning about our solar system so they, when the teacher is explaining about our solar system they are telling that uh, how the sun and the planets revolve around the sun and she's di uh, like a, she or he or she is diagram uh, you know drawing the diagram on the blackboard but the students are going to have a hard time you know visualizing the whole solar system so you know AI technology we could use AI technology to visualize the whole model and uh, in that way the students could you know uh, easily uh, understand the whole concept behind that or the model and uh, it will be much easier for the students to understand so I'm just you know going to present this uh, right now after this and I've actually also used the OCR functionality now the main reason uh, using the OCR functionality was that that uh, you know whenever uh, a student sees a particular keyword in a in their textbook and they don't uh, understand the uh, you know the concept behind it you know they could just open the camera I can click on it and just then after that whenever they see the list of keywords they just click on that particular keyword that they are having a hard time to understand and then uh, my app will just load an AI model for that so that is why I kept the OCR functionality and another thing that I wanted to tell you that is just uh, you need to keep this in mind as this was actually a conceptual model so you know all the uh, 3d models and AI models that you are actually going to see in this video you know was just uh, I constructed and you know to just show the functionality and how we could you know use that type or that kind of models in you know uh, major fields or separate fields so what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, once I you know click on this camera icon, it's going to start an OCR functionality. So whatever I write here, let's say for example, yeah. 
So whatever I write here, it's going to be recorded because uh, so whatever I write, it's going to record that. It's going to record like uh, you know when we click uh, when we just press on this, it's going to record that keyword and show the list of keywords that are uh, that just the the OCR functionality that recorded. So uh, you know once I click on this uh, particular name, it's going to actually load the AR model for that particular application. So see, uh, in this way, you know, uh, first of uh, first of all, it's going to you know uh, uh, like uh, in this whiteboard, it's going to just uh, tell the description about that particular model, right? And then we can show the model itself. Okay. So uh, the another uh, good thing about this is you know even if I move the camera around, it's going to stick at this location itself, particular location itself. And you know, I can move around and see the model from like all angles, you know, to visualize it much more better. So yeah, uh, in this way, you know, uh, it will be much easier for students to understand a particular model. Let's take another example for, let's say for example, uh, it's about a pulley system, okay. And we, if we could just, you know, uh, like create a model for that pulley system, and uh, uh, you know, a, a object is connected to a string and something, and how much force is acting. If if we could, you know, just show how much uh, how the force is acting on that particular object, it would be much easier for you know students to understand the whole concept behind that particular model. So let's take another example uh, in order like how AI technology could help in visualizing for more models. Uh, let's take for example, uh, students and researchers are actually, you know, researching about the all the rover locations that have been landed on Mars. So, uh, so you know, they could just load an AR model for that and in AR model, it will show the whole map of Mars with all the rover locations pinpointed on Mars. In that way, they will be uh, able to, uh, you know, visualize the whole uh, locations, all the locations of uh, the rovers on uh, that have been landed on Mars. To write the, the name uh, of a particular model that I've stored, that is Mars rover. So once I, you know, then I click on this, it's going to load that particular model here. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So this is the description of that model and here are all the locations that are being pin, uh, pinpoint, like whatever the locations were for all the landing that were landed on Mars or the rover locations. Right. So you know, it will be much more easier for them to visualize the models and understand like what were uh, the particular locations and what are the locations that is not being, you know, uh, uh, like what are the left locations so that have been, where no ro uh, rows have been landed. Yeah. So the so uh, I'm going to present uh, another example of the AI, where AI technology could be used. Like uh, architects could use AI technology, you know, to show uh, the 3D model of their uh, uh, buildings uh, uh, to the clients. Uh, right now, actually, what they are doing is, you know, they build a 3D model and they see on their 2D screen like a monitor or something. So uh, whenever they show it to their clients, the clients have some idea of how the final structure of their building will look like but if uh, if you know architects could you know just use uh, the AR technology and load the 3d model on that AR uh, through AR technology and show it to their clients the client will have a more clear understanding or more clear idea of how are you know the final structure of the building will look like in the app I can also search uh, a particular model let's say for example I write here apartment complex right and I just click on build model so, uh, then you know 
like now this was just a like a concept model okay so guys i just created this model plan or it's not looking that much like but we just understand the functionality like it would be much nicer you know to visualize the particular building structure of a model another field where ai technology could be used is with e-commerce apps uh, let's say for example uh, whenever you are order any order any appliances or any furniture and when they, it comes to your house it if it doesn't look good in your home then you actually cancel replace or even you know return the order uh, so uh, so uh, eco like eco e-commerce companies could actually you know uh, use ai technology to minimize that how uh, they could actually you know give the option to load the ai model for that particular uh, product that they are selling and the user could actually you know uh, click on that particular uh, view model option and they could you know just see how it will look uh, the particular product will look in their house so you know they could uh, pre uh, you know uh, before the product comes to their house they can you can before ordering that product they could you know just see the if the, it will look good in their house or not so in this way you know uh, the order cancellation that happens because of this or reason uh, could be avoided So this is a refrigerator model that I have filled in. Okay, so now we can actually easily see how much space it's acquiring and how much like how it is looking in our space, like in, in our home and everything. So you know, uh, the uh, the customers could you know easily visualize the item before in hand, uh, like they are ordering uh, ordering appliances online. So this will uh, even help uh, in reducing the cancellation of the items and everything. Okay, so yeah, so this could, uh, this could, the AI technology could really help in this, uh, this field is, uh, also. So uh, this, so these were all the things that I demonstrated as my final year project to my professors. And yeah, you can, and yeah, you can always go to my website, uh, uh it's slash experience to, uh, like, you know, check the details about my project. Uh, they have also mentioned uh, like all the videos, everything have i'll also put on like all the videos about that models that i've built it in this video and yes so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye